What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now a word from our sponsor Moomoo. It's a free money alert guys. Link in the description below. Click on that link. Make a brokerage account. Deposit $100 and get two free stocks guys. This isn't like anything super crazy. It's just free money if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. And plus I even talked to one of the representatives and they do not use the payment for order flow. So that's actually a really good thing. Make sure you guys check out Moomoo and plus it's a pretty decent brokerage especially if you think about getting a major broker change anyway. They actually do things right and it's free money. But today we will be talking about something that's pretty drastic, which are some of the new rule changes coming up AMC. And after AMC yesterday going up a whopping 12%, I think a lot of big investors are going in pretty hard. Now, before we dive any deeper, make sure to check out the volume of AMC. The volume of AMC is actually looking pretty phenomenal. The volume is looking good and the volume is peaking up, indicating that yesterday there was a lot of people buying in, which actually dragged the stock from a really red day to a pretty green day. After going down 3%, down to $29, $28, it surged all of the $33.50. Like I said before, AMC has a really strong floor value of $33. If AMC drops below $33 or $34, it automatically rebounds up. And this is proof. I think the shorts right now, no matter how hard they short it, no matter how many naked shorts, no matter how badly they want the price of AMC to go down, it just doesn't want to go below its floor of $33 because the fundamentals are great. They're paying off debt. Dividends might be coming in the next couple of years. And AMC is still gaining more momentum. In fact, just showing this massive 12% gain in a single day just attracted even more new users, even more new fans to the AMC. AMC is the people stock where the retail traders at this point pretty much own the whole entire float. And everyone is saying that even hedge funds are going in pretty hard. And because of this, and because of this massive big change and big shift in power, I feel like retail traders might be having a pretty good run up in the next few weeks. I think AMC, because for two straight weeks of massive battling, massive fights, it went below $33, $34, five to six times already. And every single time it rebounds up, shows you that no one is giving up just yet in the bull area. Now we gotta check out some of the big rules about AMC, all right? And the rule that we will be focusing today is gonna to be the NSCC 2021-010. I can't stress how important this is and just simply look through the pages of page seven to page 10, you will definitely be seeing a lot of things talking about losses, SFTs, and much, much more. So what's going on with this scenario is we could be seeing a controlled fire sale. Now, obviously, if you guys haven't watched those financial movies, they're honestly pretty good if you ask me. They do a lot of these scenes where they do like these massive fire sales, like these massive brokerages, these massive exchanges, suddenly selling off millions, even billions of dollars worth of shares to get as much liquidity and cold hard cash as possible. Where the big thing about these massive fire sales is when you start selling, let's say a bunch of Apple stock and you sell like 2%, 3% of the overall free floats, the whole entire stock plummets in price and that freaks it out and everyone else starts selling because when everyone sees that the price is dropping this much, Everyone just does the same thing. I mean, I've always said that the stock market is 50% psychological and the other 50% skill and knowledge and also a little bit of luck. Now, a far so would not be pretty good, okay? Especially with AMC already shown such enormous strengths. Some people are already saying that Vanguard and BlackRock are some of the two biggest shareholders of AMC in the hedge fund game. Whereas the hedge fund Citadel is one of the biggest shorts of AMC. So there is a massive battle. And I'm just going to say it right now that if you're going against Vanguard and BlackRock, the two biggest shareholders of AMC, chances are the win percentages isn't really that big. These are really big brokerages, big exchanges, and big firms. And they don't mess around. And they got all sorts of tools at their disposal. And as crazy and big as Citadel is, I don't really think a ton of naked shorting and synthetic short positions for a stock that has this much retail interest is a good idea. And the crazy thing is there's still a bunch of these major funds doubling down, tripling down, and going in pretty hard, thus over leveraging the positions. Now a fire sell will probably be what's gonna happen if AMC surges up. I feel like if AMC goes to 150, even $200, a massive squeeze will probably follow, sending AMC to the moon. We don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but when this massive file sell comes in, 
This rule essentially says that there's going to be a controlled fire sell. Instead of suddenly liquidating your shares, there will be a slow and steady liquidation. That way it doesn't freak out the market because when you start selling shares within just a few days period, everything's going to go down. But if you sell a little bit every single day for like the next few months, that's not going to be as bad. That's another way where you can actually raise capital to pay off the debts without freaking out the overall market. Now, obviously, when you have fun, big institutions like Citadel selling off that many shares, even in the course of a few months, it's still going to drag the overall price of the stock market down, but it's not going to be like a massive crash. No one can afford another massive crash. And also, if there is a massive liquidation ahead, there's also another way. You could hand over your shares as a hedge fund to the SFT. And they'll hold your shares and take out a massive loan with you for, with interest, of course. I'm the hedge fund. I get that massive pot of cash with interest. I pay off all my debts. The dust settles. I get my long shares back and I start making money once again. But I got to slowly pay off this massive debt with interest. Now, that's also another scenario. So we're already seeing these massive scenarios coming in. Also seeing a lot of different things coming in with AMC. And I think AMC is right now in a really unique situation. I think the retail traders are in a spot where they could actually win. Hedge funds are honestly buying more AMC than ever before. I think there just seems to be a lot of popularity with AMC recently. A lot of people seem to like the stock. They seem to enjoy what the stock has to offer. And look at this. For some reason, retirements and pension funds are buying AMC heavily. Like just like yesterday, all right, it's the teacher retirement system of Texas just bought a ton of AMC shares, 2.6 million shares. Now, what's going on here? Now, there are a lot of institutions out there that do not like AMC, and they simply buy AMC as a hedge because there is a possibility where there's massive amounts of wealth being transitioned. And that shouldn't really be a crazy new thing, especially with the Volkswagen short squeeze. We all saw that. A lot of people, even everyday retail traders, became multimillionaires overnight because of this. So what's going on is you do see a lot of retirement plans, and even, for example, New York State Con Retirement Fund. A lot of these guys are buying millions of dollars worth of AMC stock not because they super like the stock. I mean, this is a meme stock when we are talking about retirement and pension funds. They usually buy super stable assets. But if the overall market goes down a ton, guess what? These guys will manage to actually hold their value pretty well. AMC is honestly a good hedge because when you have one of the biggest funds in the world shorting AMC heavily, guess what? If they lose, they're on the hook for a ton of money. And what the scary thing is, retail traders are already on the float. Hedge funds are going in pretty hard. When you see 400 hedge funds are bullish and only 15 are shorts, something is up. You probably want to go with the majority of the hedge funds going in pretty hard. And not to mention, you also have Vanguard already increasing massive amounts of shares for their Russell 2000 index fund ETF, VRTIX. You can check that out yourself. Now, it's really unique, and it's actually an MP filing instead of a 13F filing. MP filings are actually for ETFs, mutual funds, if you're interested in that. But they actually increased their position by 441%. What does this mean? They're pretty bullish on the stock. And we're not joking around here. We're seeing a lot of major institutions going in. And because of this, you got retail going in, institution going in, ETFs going in. I don't really think they could keep shorting stock any further. Look at yesterday, going up 12% shows you that the stock is strong. The fundamentals are strong. The company itself is improving and renovating themselves. They want to do esports. They want to do sports. They want to do TV shows. They want to do more than movies. They want to become a more a heavy entertainment and leisure company, a place where socialize. It's essentially a massive cult following of retail traders at this point. AMC is going to go up in my opinion. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Make sure to check out the private server link below in the description. It's pretty amazing. We have a lot of really amazing trades here. Snapchat, we turned like $200 to $1,400. New egg calls made like, what, 400, 500%. It's pretty nice. So definitely check it out. All right. So make some money with us. Like, look at this Snapchat, 436%. That is pretty sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. And comment below. See you guys later.